Ooh, yeah, look at that. Mm. Oh, what? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me see here, what's going on here? Is that a Tome? All right, welcome back to the channel with Paradox the Rapper. Yes, today we are installing a new exhaust for the 91 NA MR2. No, it is not a Tome, but it is from eBay. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you guys are probably hiding in your house right now due to the coronavirus and just under quarantine. Thank you all for staying in and staying safe, staying healthy. And I know some of you guys are having a really tough time right now. I got a comment in my comment section on like one of the last videos saying the guy lost his job and um, he really doesn't know what to do. I know times are tough right now and it's it's a little bit of like something that none of us can really control this is a good time for you to learn a new skill okay once you learn something it is something that can never be taken away from you all the things you want to know anything you're interested about whether it be wrapping or anything else um metal work welding all that stuff can be learned right here on your screen on the internet on youtube the information is already here use this time to learn a new skill and just explore whatever it is that you might be interested in. So when we get back to normal, you can have a second career option. I was able to start this whole YouTube channel, get all these cars, the whole wrapping business, um, selling my wrap brand, all of it, with just that car right there that I bought for $3,800 and a set of wheels that I got from Facebook Market, some cans of spray paint, some sandpaper from Home Depot, and then I just kept buying wheels, selling them, buying wheels, fixing them up and selling them over and over again until I got enough money to get my first roll of wrap. Okay, so if this guy can do it in his little garage, you too can do anything you want as long as you just get something that other people will buy it for more. Do what you gotta do to it, flip that product and then save the profits from it and invest in what you are interested in man this car is dirty it's dirty on the outside because it's been sitting at the shop and on the inside so this episode is brought to you by shine armor right here follow these guys on instagram they were so awesome and sent me a whole interior cleaner kit basically it comes with this it comes with a spray nozzle for it and they are so nice to include two these microfiber towels this is made for interior you can see it says um, anti-static and sun blocking agents and use on vinyl leather and plastic so on old 90s cars like this one you're gonna want some of this to preserve your plastics and your leather and all your interior stuff so look how dusty that is oh oh man that's bad Spray it on your microfiber towel. Wipe it. Okay, okay. Ooh, that's gnarly. And then you towel it off with the dry side or another one. Ooh, that's looking a whole lot better. Kind of restores the stuff there you go simple as that very nice Finally, it passed. All green right there, baby. So now I can officially register this thing. My tags are expired here, but this is nice and clear. I got my papers in my hand here. 
Um, I'm gonna take you guys on a little bit of a ride along. This car is not fast in any way, but you know, some driving footage. Um, it hasn't ran this good ever since I got it. So now that um, the shop Japanese only have fixed this thing and they did, there was like a clogged hose back there too. And then the new throttle body was installed. Um, now it's good to go. So it's a lot stronger once the engine is dial dialed in. Um, even though it's an NA engine, it still feels pretty good. It's a wonderful, a wonderful um, daily. So I have my helmet right here. This is my drifting helmet. It's got these vents on there. And um, I don't have a, uh, what you call it? I don't have a head mount yet for my phone or a GoPro. So I'm using this for now for any driving footage. So we'll test it out. Um, we're just gonna test this bracket right here. I got this off of Amazon and it's like a, it's like a phone bracket where you just fit the phone right here and this is all strapped onto the helmet and the sick thing about this helmet is that it has double visor look at this oh snap it's like a jet fighter pilot helmet that's what's up right there okay let's strap you guys in and i go for a ride i probably look hella stupid right now but um it's coronavirus season and i think everyone understands <laughs> Okay, don't mind my mess over there on the passenger side. I gotta clean all that up because it was disassembled to get fixed. As you can tell, it's super slow. Okay, so before I wash this, we're gonna install the new part today. Right over here, I ordered two pieces of things. We'll open this one later. This is, as you can see, cat back exhaust from your favorite place, eBay. That's the only place I get my parts from, if I can help it. So I don't care about, um, authentic parts as long as it's functional okay so we're gonna open this bad boy up and see what's inside Ooh, okay let's see let's see oh this is nice look at that look at all that the quality looks good to me mm, very shiny this is about to be sick we got a Y pipe. Oh, and attach to a big old canister. Okay, so of course, this comes with no instructions at all. You kind of have to figure it out. Um, I think that attaches to that somehow, and then that attaches to that. Okay, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna jack up this car and uh, get to it. All right, there you go, all mounted up. So this was kind of a tight squeeze. Um, first off, there you have to take that bracket off. You can't put it on and you can't you can't just slip it on there. So you have to take it off, slip the hook on and then bolt it back up, okay? And then right here, um, there's this little ring. Where'd it go? Yeah, there's this little ring that dropped out of there. So I'm not sure why that was here, but it had some like white gunk stuff on it and it was wrapped around this thing kind of like that so um i couldn't salvage it and i'm assuming it's just to keep like the seal tight so what i did was i used some of this kind of like this orange seal ultra copper gasket maker i had it when we did the um, vr4 exhaust so i just put it on there around that to seal it off okay didn't use it here because this came with the gaskets already. So we'll see what happens. Should be fine though. 
and then um, that's kind of like a tight squeeze you have to really like muscle it in there and then here you kind of have to muscle it as well um, I mean it's not an exact fit you can see how there's a difference here but it should be fine because all this is squeezing the gasket together and then um, I will probably end up readjusting these and may maybe take it to a muffler shop have them cut this and kind of extend these out kick these out straighter and out more this way so that'd be cooler but for now we'll run it like this um i mean this will fit fine if you don't have like these little winglets that i have thing so i'm gonna take these um silencer off right here you just go like this there you go yeah you just unscrew these and it'll pop off just like that okay let's fire it up I do need to get those mufflers extended okay so while i'm at it i'm taking this spacer off because what this spacer was doing was that it made the back wheel look like this see that that would be a good poke for me if i ran super stretch tires but these are 245s and to run this kind of poke and stance it out you need to run like 215s or like, you know, 195s or something small like that. All right, guys, there it is. So um, what I ended up doing was not even messing with the front wheels at all. I just left it the way it is because my tires are way too fat. And I just need to downsize on tires because I'm already rubbing right now with this size these are 245s what i should have is like 215s in the front and i can keep the 245s in the back i took the spacers out didn't really dump it i like i lowered it a whole inch and it looked really wonky because the back's way too low compared to the front when i did that so i only lowered it half an inch so now it's sitting like that without the spacer so i mean this fitment is pretty much perfect oh, there we go see there okay um, so as I get different tires and these wear down, I'll change it up again. But for now, um, I'll keep it like it is until we're getting some new smaller front tires. I got to work on that car, which you'll see in the next episode. Um, but this exhaust is really awesome. Best bang for your buck for like 130 something dollars. <laughs> okay. You really can't beat that. Just go to eBay and type in MR2 na 1991 exhaust okay this is the na version there's also the turbo version which um you can get as well so if you have a turbo model get that i don't really care about having like um brand name stuff because this is just my daily and unless i'm like actually racing and really taking it to the track brand name is just paying more money for no reason for me if it works and it feels good, sounds good, functional, that's all I care about. Also, make sure that you look through your whole package. <laughs> so this is that metal ring thing that goes to the downpipe from the exhaust manifold. Um, that got all jacked up and where I put the whole bunch of like gasket maker on. So um, in the next couple of days, probably next week, I'll probably take it all apart again and then put this on. But I think the gasket maker will be fine. Let me know if you guys think the gasket maker will fail me and if i should put this on i probably will all right guys that's it for this video stay tuned for more content to come i'm still going to be doing stuff even with the quarantine and i'm going to be here to entertain you who are interested in these cars and my rap shenanigans so until next time guys like comment subscribe 
and I'll catch you guys later.